friends, it's me. Today we're gonna be trying expensive ice cream. So I think it's been about two years since I made a video on expensive ice cream and it blew up because I bought this $40 ice cream off Instagram and it was horrible. So because history repeats itself, I decided to make the same mistake again because I am a fool, especially for tailored Instagram ads. So as I was scrolling through my feed, I saw this ad for this ice cream. It was black and white, it was swirled, it looked like the galaxy and I wanted to try it really bad. It was from a brand called Daily Harvest, and I'm like, wait, I heard about this. I had some issues with them in the past. So almost a year ago, I saw an ad from that brand, and I decided to buy stuff from it, and I never got that order. Your girl didn't get her refund, so I'm a bit salty. So I went on their site, I ordered ice cream, but it was like, oh no, you fool, you can't just buy the ice cream. This is a subscription box. So for the low price of like $75, oh, but you get $25 off your first purchase, you have to buy nine things. You only have four flavors of ice cream, and I bought the ice cream. $9 a pint. That's not the worst thing in the world. But basically you have to buy nine items. And so it took me a while to like figure out what I wanted to get. Okay, I'll get some bowls, I'll get some coffee. I had to fill up my box. You can't just buy the floor ice cream. You have to like fill it up with minimum nine items. So after having multiple anxiety attacks on what I wanted to buy, I ended up with this. And by the way, it's on like a subscription thing and it was like, we're gonna charge you like $90 every month. This is gonna get shipped to you every month. So if you're signing up for like any food subscription, you have to cancel it right away. It's like a free trial at the app store. You have to cancel it right away or they're gonna charge you for like the next month. I canceled it real quick and here I am with my ice cream. I have digital and V here to help me try all this ice cream today. I didn't think four ice cream was gonna be enough for a 10 minute video. So I went to Whole Foods <laughs> and I bought the most expensive ice cream that I could find. There was this one which looked very interesting and it's like gluten free and it's cookie dough. So I was like, oh, that's a win-win. So this one was a good $10 right here. And then this one was a good $9. So this is like the $9 up ice cream club. Ben and Jerry's could never. We're just gonna go down the line here. Bro, this looks like straight up cookie dough. This is like it's supposed to be like a healthy one. This is non-dairy, it's probiotic. Oh, I think all of these, except this one, are non-dairy. They're vegan and gluten-free. Get a spoon. So this is what it looks like from a brand called the Coconut Cult. Great balls of gluten-free cookie dough. Those are some balls I'd like to eat. I've never seen ice cream that looks like cookie dough. It, the whole thing just looks like straight up cookie dough. You it's weird. Ice cream? It doesn't look like this. It looks like so, vanilla so ice cream weird. with cookie dough balls. You wanna try it? No, that's pretty good. I feel like Miss Bellum in Powerpuff Girls where you don't see her. <laughs> don't gotta see what's not important. <laughs> it's okay. I would give this one a seven out of 10. I feel like it's not as rich of a cookie. As someone who doesn't eat gluten-free stuff, that's pretty good. I guess it's fine for gluten-free, but I like the cookie dough ice cream that has chunks of cookie dough, as opposed to this one where it's like, the whole thing is like cookie dough flavored ice cream. If I eat, it's like if I took a whole entire cookie dough, mix it with some milk and froze it, that's what it tastes like. It's like, I say it's okay, but we keep eating it. How many calories in that? 240. Not bad. But is it good though? <laughs> Get out of my house. All right. Get out. Okay, next one. This one is a strawberry rich rippled berry compote. I don't know why it doesn't just say strawberry dragon fruit because that's what the cover has on it. So I really like how it says the ingredients on the back. It says coconut, strawberry, dragon fruit, raspberry, vanilla, and probiotic. Oh, and then there's the actual ingredients. Whoa. Look at this one. Boom. I'm guessing this one's more of a sorbet, but like a vegan sorbet. Or I think most sorbet is vegan. Wow, tastes expensive. It really does. Like when you go to a fancy restaurant and get the sorbet trio, that's what it tastes like. Also, I hate going to a restaurant and ordering sorbet. Why? Because it's lame. I can just go to a grocery store and buy sorbet. This is really good. I'm not gonna lie. Is it worth $8.99 plus a subscription? Probably not, but come try it. She doesn't want to go on camera because she's wearing Shane Dawson merch. It tastes expensive, huh? Yeah, I like this a lot. Yeah, it's like really thick, like a really nice sorbet. It's not like overcome compensating with sugar. Let me simplify like, something. When she says it tastes expensive, it means it tastes bad. No, it's not. It's not overly sugary. It's you know how most sorbets are just like sugar? This is mostly fruit. So I do like it. 
pretty good. I'm surprised you don't like it. It's like a very fancy strawberry ice cream. I like the cookie one better. Of course you do. This gets an 8 out of 10 for me. This next one. Ooey Gooey Midnight Fudge. So this one is a chocolate base. It has coconut, maple, cacao, avocado, pine pollen, vanilla. Okay, let's rip this one apart. Oh, it just looked like chocolate. You might like this because it's chocolate. I am not a big fan of chocolate ice cream. It's so boring. It doesn't even have any mixins. You're boring. This is <laughs> the most basic ice cream. Okay, chocolate experts. Come on, try it, chocolate experts. I don't like this and you won't like it either. Why are you so sure of yourself? This tastes like privileged chocolate. Like, it doesn't taste that good, but it's like, it's fancy. It's the avocado. Yeah. I don't like mm. avocado in desserts. It's like someone who tried to make chocolate but failed somehow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> someone tried to make it and failed. I'm thinking about if I had this at a restaurant. All of these taste like, like super upscale restaurant quality sorbet. It's like diabetic chocolate. A little bit. That like aspartame So substitute chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. But you see this has maple. I don't think this has artificial sweeteners in it. Dang, this does not taste that good for that much sugar in it. It doesn't even taste like it has sugar in it. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I know what sugar tastes like. This one is the one that made me buy this. I made this entire purchase and this video idea because of this flavor. This is salted swirled black sesame. Oh, your Look at favorite. This. All of her favorite I, stuff. I love that stuff. Salted swirled black sesame. Mmm, delicious. There's no way I could not like it. you what the ad looks like and I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Look what this looks like. Do you guys see that? Yeah. I'm gonna show you what made me buy this product, okay? Look. Oh, that does not look anything like it. I know. You spent $90 for that? Yes, I did actually. I thought it was gonna look like that. I thought it was gonna be a beautiful black and white swirled ice cream. What the heck is this? Because it can't be this flavor, but I bought all the flavors. And it's this tastes like sadness in a pint. Oh no. That's a lot of ice cream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why does it look like this? This is a clickbait. Hmm. Can't believe I did not like this one. It's like literally you. In I can't in believe I did not like it at all. I don't like it at all. I could throw this in mm. the trash right now and have zero remorse. That tastes like sushi ice cream. No, it doesn't. It does. It's the black sesame that are making it feel like I'm eating a sushi roll. They did this so very wrong. Daily Harvest, if you hire me for free, I will help you fix this. I will help you make better ice cream than this. And I will do it for free. No, I will do it for one subscription box. <laughs> I'll do it for a refund. My precious time to fix your mistake. What is this? I'm actually very mad about this. I'm very disappointed. I've never been this disappointed at something. Ooh. Okay, last daily harvest one. Oh, this has spirulina. I love me some spirulina. It's dark melty cacao chips. It's mint chocolate chip, but one's a private school. Whoa, it's green. Yeah, it's Ugh. green, but it's not like the regular mint chocolate chip. It kind of looks like a matcha green. We eat baby Yoda, frozen. <laughs> I usually don't like mint chocolate chip ice cream. I've never eaten mint chocolate chip ice cream. I don't like mint chocolate anything. Because I actually have taste. I have taste, says the person who only eats chicken and cheese. Back up! Six feet. I have no opinion on this. I really like the, is these, are these cocoa nibs? Cocoa nibs are superior to chocolate chips. It's good, I think it's good. It's okay, it's nothing it's, special. It's just like a higher quality mint chocolate chip, that's all Okay, it is. but I think Briars has better ice cream. The 2.99 big old things of Briars, I think those are better. <laughs> but the cocoa nibs, cocoa nibs, superior. Delicious, it's like chocolate chips, but I think they have less sugar or they don't have sugar at all. There's basically like a like straight up cocoa solid. Anyways, last one, the only one that's not vegan, so. Vegans, cover your eyes. Oh, I did not like the chocolate chips in that. They're cocoa nibs. They're delicious. They're superior They're to chocolate chips. They were, they were super bitter. Yeah, I yeah, like that. that's so delicious. <laughs> Okay, come try this one. This one's a good one. This one's a not a vegan one. This one's toasted coconut almond chip. All the stuff that I like. Oh, they are very generous. Very generous with the toppings. The mix-ins and the fix-ins. So my favorite ice cream place, this is what I get. I get like almonds and stuff mixed in. Almonds and chocolate. Oh, it's soft. Mm. I would definitely eat that one. That's delicious. Mm. That's the best one I've had so That's far. That's delicious. This is so good. After <laughs> eating all vegan ice creams, I think I actually prefer the taste of vegan ice cream to like regular ice cream. After drinking milk and eating dairy my whole life, I don't like the dairy taste anymore. Like I just prefer the non-cow taste. The, the dairy taste. taste. You love the cow taste. That's why I want my breakfast cereal straight from the udder. I want my milk straight from the oats tea. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Mm-hmm, that's delicious. Mm. It's got toasted coconuts, it's got chocolate, it's got almond, bomb. I think my favorite one out of all of these was surprisingly the dragon fruit and berry one. I like these ones. Okay. There's the one I didn't really like. Was this like worth it? That I found something that I will buy over and over again? Probably not. This was really good. I don't really like fruity ice creams, but this one, bomb. Which one is your favorite? The toasted coconut almond chip. This one? No. You too. I don't know, like I like them both a lot. I just, I love the coconut, the shredded coconut. I know, the shredded coconut is so, so good. good. And the, the chocolate covered almond, mm, delicious. But anyway, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, let me know what your favorite flavor of ice cream is. And if you guys want another ice cream video, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications so you know when I upload. Click, click. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much, thanks for watching, bye guys.